everybody, it's Roll. We're back with some more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. On this last episode, we left off in Stardust Fields and we had to go run around and collect a hundred coins so that we can free Bowser from the cannon. But before we do that, we need to head up here and have a certain conversation with these two lads here. The Starshade Bros. They're gonna teach us all about the bros actions. Which uh, we kind of need to get all the special items around here and to get back to Bowser. We oh no. <laughs> no! 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 No, I know. I accidentally... It accidentally went back to yes. Ooh, that's a little different of an animation. So basically, we are... Being taught how to do the high jump, so Luigi jumps on Mario and jumps up high. And now we are learning the spin jump. Oops. No, get down. Uh, I don't remember how to switch them. Oh, we have to actually select- oh, okay. That's different. So down here, you can see on the little touch screen, you have to select them. Yep, I'm ready to return. I don't really know about touch screen for doing that. It used to be, I think it was the R, L and R button. So now they want us to use our skills to reach the flag at the top. So, first we need to do our high jump, and our high jump, and our high jump one more time. Then move on to our spin jump, do our high jump one more time, collect this item, why not? It's a mushroom. Don't really need mushrooms too much right now. And do our last spin jump to the flag. We did it! Incredible, Master Mario. Master Luigi, you truly are super brothers. I salute you. Move out. And by move out, they mean they're going to move down low into the star. Ooh, syrup. Um, I don't believe we can jump this high. I didn't think so. That's okay, we can just go back the way we came. Might as well put in a save here for good measure. So now it's time to return to Bowser. We can get this a nut. Syrup and some coins. Uh huh. Wait, there's nothing else here? Okay. Oh. Can we. <clears throat> there it is. No! Oh! He's like trying to jump on Luigi to do a spin because I messed up. Mario and Luigi, sirs! In the emotional reunion, we just met you two seconds ago. So, our bros' techniques we can also use in battle.
Now we're just going to spin it us. <laughs> Good job, Mario. Okay, that animation is kind of a little cool. I pressed the wrong buttons, or I actually didn't press any buttons because I was expecting it to be like a tutorial type thing. So they went ahead and restored our bros points, so we'll be fully charged for any battles we get into. Just going to confirm here. Yes, we have 132 coins. So they spit the other enemies out. I should say they spun the other enemies out in case you, um, okay, in case you didn't have the 100 coins yet, but we do. So if we can avoid these battles, since we don't really need to, oh man, get down. Uh, I keep messing up on that because I just need the normal jump. Uh, this way, I think. Yep. We'll go ahead and put in a save over here since it is a lot closer and we already went through more tutorial stuff about using the bros attacks in battle. And we can return with our 100 coins. And of course, he's not just going to take the 100 coins, he's going to take all 137 coins. And of course, he is not going to help us after all, he lied to us. And surprise boss battle. This music is... Okay, it's like the same music, but it's also not. Uh, let's try a bros attack. I gotta work on that a little bit. Oops. Oops. I think I mispressed completely. I don't know, it's been one of my kind of, it's been one of my, don't even jump, don't even jump, don't even jump, oops, I guess we needed to jump for that one. Uh, let's just go back to normal attacks, but it's been one of my sort of complaints since seeing the trailer of this game is... How, how much they changed certain things that didn't necessarily need to be changed. Like the music is one of my biggest gripes because I keep forgetting to jump. Oh, he's looking up at the box like, hmm. We'll go ahead and use a mushroom for Mario. But yeah, the music is one of my biggest gripes because the music was fantastic in the original game. And it seems like they kind of, I don't know, doled it down a little bit for the remake, which is kind of a shame because, and that was a darn shame, because the music was so good in the original. So he's going to make it bounce. It's usually two bounces and then the last one rolls. Yeah. You just have to kind of pay attention a little bit to see who he's going to throw it to. Okay, so don't jump. 
don't jump. And the last one, jump, just depends on who he throws it. <sighs> Mario, why? That's alright. He got ten tons of mushrooms. He'll be fine. Win! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Now, I was told, I don't know how true it is, that they made this game easier than the original game. Which kind of stinks because, uh, I mean, this game to begin with on the Game Boy Advance wasn't too difficult at all. I didn't think. Uh, let's give him more speed. The only part that was difficult was the very last boss. And it was only difficult... Uh, I'm trying not to spoil it. But it was only difficult for the very beginning part. But if you got past that, which is pretty easy to do, then you're fine. It's just you have to get past that first little part. And the final boss. That's really the only part, only battle I had difficulty with. And poor Bowser is going to get shot out of a cannon, but at least he's out, not stuck for life. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in another save here. We at least got our 100 coins back, so we missed 37 coins. Or he swindled 37 coins out of us. But at least now... Oh, there's another save here. But at least now we can get out of... Stardust Fields. And in the next episode, we'll go ahead and move towards getting to Bean Bean Kingdom. So, bye everybody.